Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make copper sulfate. I've seen lots of videos on showing you how to make it, but they don't actually tell you how to deal with the problem with the sulfuric acid, because you can't really dry the copper sulfate because of the sulfuric acid. Okay, so first thing, you want to pour 50 milliliters of 55% nitric acid into a beaker. This beaker is too small, so I moved it to a larger one. Then, you want to saturate the solution with copper nitrate by adding copper metal. I recommend leaving the copper metal overnight to, to react because I've, uh, when I only reacted the copper now until I thought it was saturated, when I, it didn't really, the copper sulfur didn't really precipitate out how I wanted it to. Sorry for the cam camera angle, it's like, ah. Uh, oh. Okay, so the copper's reacting, but I've noticed the problem is that, uh, like, yeah, the nitric acid shot out the top of the copper pipe. So I had to actually flatten the pipe afterwards. At this point, I was kind of panicking because I needed to, like, neutralize all the acid that's dropping over. Yeah, it's the whole problem. Yeah, I'm trying to see if it will work or not, but nah. Just kept on shooting out of the top. So this stuff also didn't look the right color. So I reckon there was lots of copper, con um, copper contamination, like crap on the copper. So I just pulled this off to use for later, and then I did it again. Yep. Now, well, how I make my copper sulfate is that I saturate the solution with copper nitrate, then I add concentrated sulfuric acid. Nor, in this video, I will tell you, uh, well, I am, but you need 10 milliliters of sulfuric acid to your 50 milliliters of copper nitrate saturated solution. But if your solution is not super saturated, the sulfuric acid won't precipitate a lot of the copper nitrate. Uh, copper sulfate out sorry um, but the first time I did this it worked really well I got a lot of copper sulfate and I had no sulfuric acid contamination and I could dry it fairly easily but in this video I, when I added the sulfuric acid it didn't really work so I had to think of a plan to precipitate this copper sulfate out because nitric acid is expensive so I, what I did is I added hydrogen peroxide. Uh, my concentration is around 50%. I could have diluted it, but... Eh. So I just added my hydrogen peroxide. And you'll see later on in the video that it precipitated the copper sulfate out uh, quicker than sulfuric acid. I reckon you don't even need the sulfuric acid. Um, no, wait, no. No, you do. Never mind. Because you need to make that sulfate group. See, this is the sulfuric acid being added. I'm stirring it up. You can see nothing much precipitating out. This is the hydrogen peroxide being added.
At this point the solution became really thick and full of copper sulfate. So you kind of just want to add like a lot less sulfuric acid to your um, solution so you don't get any sulfuric acid contamination. You probably will get nitric acid contamination too unless you do it like perfect amounts but you know nitric acid if you're using it for plants it will it will just give the plants some nitrogen so but for chemistry you could actually just wash it with cold water which I did do that but the problem was I used baking soda to neutralize the acid and as soon as I poured all all my copper sulfate or the baker soding the baker's the baking soda solution inside the copper sulfate it turned half of my copper sulfate into copper hydroxide and so I only got like half my copper sulfate back and here is the copper sulfate uh, it came out white which is copper sulfate but then I had to add drops of water onto it and um, turn it into copper sulfate pentahydrate because it looks better thanks for watching please like and subscribe